Hey, uh, welcome to another uh, Zombicide. Um, this is going to be Zombicide Prison Outbreak Mission Number Five, an easy mission, medium level, six plus survivors, supposedly 150 minutes long to complete. Uh, right now, you're looking at the five survivors I'm going to use. I'm going to be using Donna. I just recently finished painting her up, so this will be her first uh, go at a uh, at Zombicide here, and um, she was one of those promo survivors. Um, that you get from Kickstarter or whatever. Um, you could actually still get her and um, Max, Brother Max, I believe, is the other one comes in that box. Um, it's a special guest box, and I can't remember the artist's name. But anyways, let's move on. We got Donna, and we're going to have... Here, I'll just go over here. We have Donna right there, and in the blue, she starts with a plus one to the dice roll melee, and she will be the first one to start us off. As you can see, the skull token there, she'll be first player. And she's equipped with a nightstick. Next in line is Belle, one of the original uh, Prison Outbreak survivors here. Uh, she starts off with a plus one free move action and is equipped with a fire axe. Next is Leah, as you can recognize her as Emma Stone from Zombieland. She has the claw hammer and she's in the blue level with Slippery. Then we have Josh, an OG. Uh, he's one of the original uh, Zombicide survivors. From the beginning of it all. And he starts off with Slippery and he's equipped with a nightstick. And then one of my favorites, besides Padre Johnson, is El Cholo, a.k.a. Danny Trejo. He starts off with uh, two machetes in the blue and uh, he draws a pistol in his backpack. And that's how we're going to start us off. I'm going in chronological order on the turns. So it'll be Donna, and then next Belle, and then Leah, and so forth. So this mission here is a pretty small tile of mission. It's only got four tiles here, but it looks a little difficult. Um, they say medium, we'll see. You'll see there's a spawn zone here, the zombie spawn, and two zombie spawn zones there, and then there's a purple spawn zone at the starting area there, which is activated when we get in that room and get that purple switch. And each objective there is five points. And, and here's a, oh, I forgot to put the white switch out there, but I'll put the white switch out there to open up that. And when you open up the purple switch, it opens up all, opens up, <laughs> it opens the purple jail cells. And the white switch does the white jail cells, as you can see them all placed right there. So I kind of like these uh, 3D doors and jail cells because it, it shows up a lot better on the, on the video when I'm recording these. You can see in this room, this room here is a special room. Inside there uh, takes one action. You could pick up the riot shield and the gun blade. I guess I should read the objective to you, huh? Open the violet and white cells. You just need to activate the violet and white switches to open these doors. Two, come back, reach the exit zone with all remaining survivors. Remaining, which means we don't need them all to survive. So remaining survivors. Any survivor may escape through the zone at the end of this turn as long as there are no zombies. Special rules. Checkpoints. Each objective gives five experience points. This isn't a regular guard equipment checkpoint. Someone left a guard gun blade and riot shield in the guard's check room. De definitely not standard prison equipment. Why store all this gear here? A survivor can spend one action in the same zone to collect this equipment. The violet switch. Activating the violet switch opens all violet cell doors. The survivor activating the violet switch for the first time also takes the violet objective and gains five experience points. This switch can only be activated once. And then the white switch, which I'll set, like I said before, is right there, and I'll get the white switch out there. Activating the white switch opens all white cell doors. The survivor acting with the white switch for the first time takes the white objective and gains five experience points. This switch can only be activated once. There it was, the dining hall switch. I mean, the dining hall doors were closed for a good reason. Lots of zombies were locked inside. The zombie violet spawn zone activates when the violet switch is activated. Huge. And we got, obviously, you know, we got exit out that same way there. So, yay. So, anyways, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the easy mission. It's an easy mission. We just want to clean this medium security gate, security quarter. There are lots of cells full of zombies. We just opened the cells, didn't kill all the zombies. What could go wrong? Our main concern is the dining hall. It is closed with one of these security doors that nothing can open except the right switch, and we couldn't find it. 
We'll probably have to cut it with a welder. Meanwhile, this little cleaning mission will give us time to make a decision about it. And that's where we begin. So, alrighty. Uh, I hope if you have any miniatures of paint and all that, you could put me in the background as some white noise or whatever you want to call it. And um, listen or watch the game. So, as you know, I will uh, fast forward through the dice rolls and the movements. And then I'll explain at the end of each uh, turn. So... Alrighty, man, I find that format to be the fastest way to do this and hopefully try to keep it under an hour as much as possible. So you guys take care and enjoy. Leave any questions or whatever down below and we'll go from there. Again, this is mission number five, titled An Easy Mission, a Zombicide Prison Outbreak. Let's do it. <laughs> Round one was actually pretty active because I decided to take the whole group and open up this door So we had to spawn for uh, the zombies here, which ended up being I am using berserkers in there Which can only be killed by melee weapons uh, we spawned a uh, two walkers here and um, I had Donna trade for a claw hammer with uh, Leah Emma Stone and went in there and then on her first roll, as you saw, she got both of them with a and with the claw hammer. So that worked out really cool. It brought everybody else in there and they all searched. And then Leah searched and ended up with an, a claw hammer. So now she is dual wielding because I had her trade back her uh, um, trade back her uh, uh, whatever it was the uh, axe that she traded with uh, Donna. And now uh, Leah is dual wielding uh, claw hammers, which means it's going to be six dice at five plus. So that's going to work out great. And I forgot, Donna's uh, blue skill is a plus one to her die roll. Um, I believe it's uh, for melee. So actually, when she uses like the axe, it's one dice at, at the hit at four plus. It's actually going to be one, uh, one dice to hit at three plus. So I got to keep that in mind. But anyways... So we did the search in there, and um, not much else happened. Josh got a, a hatchet, and uh, uh, El Cholo ended up with canned food. So I just used the second edition rules and uh, discarded the canned food and uh, gave him a point. So uh, as you guys know, I'm doing a first and second edition rules combined here. Um, first edition, I'm when the room's open, I'm spawning in all, all the rooms that, that open up. And um, unlike second edition, it's only in the shadows, the dark areas. So anyways, uh, and that's about it. So um, zombie faces move. We uh, draw, the, we got one berserker walker there and then end up with uh, nothing over there because we're still in the, on the blue level. So one thing I learned is, is open up the buildings as soon as possible, if you have to, while you're in the blue level. So you get the low, uh, the low draws on the zombie spawns. So... Alrighty, so we're making our way this way and open up that door and going out this way to get over there. So I would say easy peasy so far, but you know how it goes. So alrighty, starting round two. <laughs> Okay, it, w it went pretty smooth sailing until the end. Um, had everybody move up. I uh, had uh, Belle start us off on that one, and I moved her up, up over here. Um, I had her fight off, uh, what you call it, and then she got up here and um, 
and that was it for her. Uh, she had to use all three actions for the fighting. And then Leah's turn, I moved her up here, but I didn't want her to get the gun blade and the riot shield. So I had her search, and she got the flashlight. So that's cool. So that means she gets to uh, draw two cards every time she searched from now on. Or whoever has the flashlight. And then uh, next was uh, Josh. I wanted Josh to have that gun blade and riot, riot, riot shield. So he got up there, and then his third action, he picked out the riot shield and the gun blade. So he's equipped with the gun blade now. Um, and that, and then he had an action to search, and he ended up with, uh, oh crap, what was it that he ended up with? I can't remember. Was it the nightstick? No, he didn't have a chance to search. That, that was it, he, when he picked up the, what you call it. So, alrighty. And then, uh, El Cholo got him up here, and on his third action, had him searching. He draws, he draws an awe card, so we had to spawn a, a walker right here. So now we had a walker in here, and Donna was last. So I was like, okay, Donna with the plus one, you know, uh, die to the melee. She had a fire axe. She's equipped with that, so I've been a one dice at three plus. So got her up there, one, one, uh, one action, two action. Then her third action to go after him, and she rolls a two. <laughs> so came to zombie phase. Uh, he had it, he, the zombie had to pick and choose, so I just had him take a, give Donna the wound. And then uh, we uh, spawned, and we spawned a Berserker Runner here, and that was moved up from the phase, and then just two regular walkers at the other ones. So, so far, so good. So let's keep rolling. Going on to round two, and Leah. <laughs> Okay, round three not too bad not too bad uh we did our searching and did our moving i had i put josh i'm gonna have josh be the leader so i had him end up over here i was gonna have him fight i was gonna have him shoot the gun blade but i realized that was a berserker walker so that, that wouldn't work so i just forced him off that way and made him the leader so anyways uh so they all search and whatever came out trollo got uh Got a scope and then um bell search and end up with the with the rifle. So if you come combine that, that becomes a sniper rifle, which eh, it's alright. So uh, and um and that was it. Uh starting uh for round four is gonna be Josh right here, and he's got slippery, so I'm not too concerned about him, and I think he's gonna be just fine with that gun blade. And he's got a hatchet. Oh, and uh, Donna starts to end up with a hatchet. So I'm going to try to get Donna to get over there with Josh and have her get the hatchet. And she could do wield that. That'll be two dice at uh, three plus. But with her uh, plus one die, it'll be two dice at uh, two plus. So that'll work out pretty good for her. And then um, that's about it. So we did the zombie phase. They all moved into this square here. Draw the manhole card here. There is no manhole in this tile. So that was pretty cool. So didn't have to worry about that. Just draw one more walker here, and then we end up drawing one runner there. Looking good so far, I say again. So now we start off round four. <laughs> Round four was uh, Josh started us off in round four, and I had him take uh, had him to come back down here, and uh, so he would be able to trade that hatchet with uh, Donna when it was Donna's turn. So that's all we have right here. And then uh, Ocholo, he he knocked out the two uh, the one uh, Berserker runner and Walker here, and then ended up over here. And then uh, it was uh, Donna's turn. 
Donna made the trade for the hatchet, so now she's dual wielding hatchets, and that had her move back up over here. And then Bell uh, just had her move over here. That's all she could do. And then Emma Stone, Leah, I had her do a search here, and she ended. And since she has a flashlight, she could draw two cards, and she ended up with a katana and then canned food. I turned the canned food in, got a point off of that, and that was it. And I had her end up over here. So. And that was it. And then we did the zombie uh, zombie phase and uh, just had a couple a runner move over here, walker up here and so forth and move the walker here. So, and then spawn uh, just two walkers here and nothing over there and one berserker runner there. And we are off to round five, starting with El Cholo. Okay, uh, this was round five, and it was El Cholo started us off. Uh, had El Cholo pretty much. Uh, where'd you Where'd you go, El Cholo? Oh, move over here. So oops, door fell down. That's the one disadvantage of having these 3D doors, knock them down everywhere. But um, pretty much just had to move up here, and um, uh, Donna had her uh, go over here, or she's right here in one action. And I had her uh, fight uh, uh, the two here, killed them both, and then had her move back here. Belle pretty much had her move over this way. And Leah followed Belle, and Josh followed Belle. Uh, Belle was able to open up the door here, and we uh, summoned uh, a fatty, and, and fatty has two walkers with her. And when it came to zombie phase time, they moved out. He, The runner, berserker runner moved here. And these two moved over here, and then we spawned two here, and zero there, and one walker there. I'm, I'm kind of like, dude, this is easy, but I know what usually happens here pretty soon. Uh, when we open switches on these cell doors, it's not going to be too easy. Watch. <laughs> so, alrighty, we're starting again with Donna in round six. Okay, round six was a pretty eh, bummer round because one thing it forced us to go into the yellow so then that means we're spawning in the yellow uh, I had Donna come up here and um, I can't remember I can't remember if she fought something I think she did and had her stay there there was a walk already in the zone here but um, I messed up because when I draw these cards out when we when uh, Leah opened up the white prison sword do cell doors uh, had a all walkers advance uh, move and I forgot to move that walker in here and um, so anyways I had uh, it, it was supposed to be here in the first place so and yeah I believe that's how it was boy I tell you what man I just go along with the game and oh so I guess when I, if I do this live play you guys could help me out but if I in chat or whatever but doing these recorded games oh but whatever happened, it came down to the point she took a wound. Um, so she is down to one wound now. 
and then I was able to move these guys over where they need to be. So that was taken care of, and then we, you know, still lucked, did really well with uh, the spawns here. Since we were in the yellow, we only had two come out here, and uh, had one runner come out, uh, out of this one. And, uh, oh, there should be another runner right here. Oh, no, there wasn't a runner out of this one because it was for the manholes, and there's no manholes out here. So there was nothing coming out of this one, and then the runner came out of this cell. All right. Ah. Anyways, to make matters worse, little Bill showed up now. Uh, we draw the abomination card and we have no abomination weapons and we haven't been searching for a Molotov or whatever And as you know when it comes to a Molotov situation like first edition you have to get the gas can the bottle second edition You just get the Molotov. I'm using the second edition on that if we draw the from the equipment pile so Anyway, so we got an abomination here little bill showed up um, We had two more uh, of we had to a total of four walkers spawn out of these two jail cells here and then um that was pretty much it uh for leah josh i had him come in here search and he ended up getting a chainsaw which is real cool and i left his other forfeit his other two moves to uh actions and left him here to help out leah because we're going to be spawning the yellow and we lucked out only spawned one zombie over there so yay uh cholo i had cholo come up here to help don out and that was pretty much it and then yeah, and that was it. And then Donna's turn. Um, she took care of whatever or something. Or that, that that was it. Yeah, Donna was the last. So, yeah. So, El Cholo came over here and that was it. Anyways, whatever. I know that Donna took a wound in there. I'm sorry I didn't explain that too well. I just totally just forgot about that. But let's move on to uh, turn number seven. Uh, Belle will start us off. And it's going to be interesting because now we got Abomination chasing us. Oh, boy. See, it was easy, huh? As long as you're in the blue, it's easy, but then we start advancing, it's not. Belle started us off right here. She was fighting off uh, uh, some of the zombies there. And then that's all she was able to do. Next was Leah. Had Leah bust out here. She just pretty much, uh, she searched. Oh, and I, I used to have the flashlight. I only draw one card. Uh, she searched and it was, uh, what was that? Oh, yeah, it was a fire axe, which we don't need anymore. Dang it. I won't pick up. I can't do it. Too late now. Uh, I remember she could get pick up two cards with a flashlight in the search anyway She ended up right here, and then I had Josh follow her out and that was all Josh was able to do El Cholo came here and used his machetes and killed that one uh, walker that was in the square there and then Donna uh, What did Donna do Donna do I can't remember what Donna did I think I just held Donna there Oh, I had I had Donna trade for uh, the nice stick from Bell so Donna's got the nice stick in her backpack because uh, she's down to one wound here. And she's kind of, she could be our valuable player here, man, because uh, cause of that uh, plus one die to melee roll. So I want to try to keep her around. Uh, I'll have her equip that night stick here pretty soon and they save a bite. So in case it gets down to it. So that's what's valuable about those night sticks. So not really great for melee, but they could, t they could save you from a wound. And then we did zombie phase, had the zombies move up here and build. And, and then we spawned uh, two runners here, four walkers there and two walkers there. So, yeah. Okay, we're going on to round, what are we going on to? Round eight? Yep, round eight and Leo started.
Okay, wasn't too much of progress there. Um, Leah started us off and ended up right here. Um, and then we had, uh, uh, after Leah was Josh, had Josh move move in here to help out and he used the chainsaw and whipped it and only was able to kill one of them and that was all he was good for. Next was uh, El Cholo and El Cholo was able to end this and I had him move in here into this square here and that was a risky move because I was taking a chance I wouldn't draw a, a all walkers extra turn when it came to doing the spawns or whatever so anyway so El Cholo d ends up right there and Donna, I had her come in here and knock out whatever and um, had her step back here. And then with uh, Belle, who's got the axe, I had used one action to re-equip so she could equip the axe. Free move in there. Second action was to open that up. Or one action there, free move. And then second action to open that up. Third action here. And then um, I had her <laughs> go to town on a... Uh, on, uh, uh, the zombies, the berserker walkers that just spawned here when we opened it up. And she did it on the first roll there with the nail bat. Two dice, three plus to hit. And then her last action, I was able to have her pick up one of the objectives. I didn't pick this one up yet because I don't want to open these doors yet. So, and that's where we're at. Did the spawn. So, four berserker walkers there. One regular walker there. Three berserker walkers there. And did all the moving there. So, little bills come around here. We have no choice. If we don't get a Molotov or anything, we're going to have to sacrifice some hits to get through here if we clear all these, these guys out. Because our only way out is this way. And we have to open up that. So there's going to be some spawns here and here pretty soon. So, And then this spawns. So it's getting dicey, guys. Let's go on to round number nine. Josh... <laughs> Good round very good round this was cool josh started us off josh uh did what he did right here uh not much uh he's able to clear out some of them there and he used all three actions so had to stay put um next was el cholo i had el cholo come in here and he searched and got drawn all cards so he had to fight a zombie and that pretty much took his uh actions i forfeit one because i don't want to pick up that yellow x yet i don't want to get switched going yet next was a uh, donna donna uh, didn't do too much here, um, and I left her there alone, and just let her stay pushed. She had to forfeit a couple actions. Bell search, and then forfeit the rest of her actions. Bell search, and ended up uh, with another nail bat. So she's got two nail bats, which is cool. She could trade out to someone else. And then uh, Leah, 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 Leah. Leah's gonna possibly be our hero. Well, she is gonna be our hero here. I had her go in in here. Use an action, second action, the surge on her third action, and she ended up with the <gasps> concrete saw, baby. And that is an abomination killer. That is just good. That's good. That's good. And then I brought her back out here to help out with whatever spawns here after the zombie face. Zombie face happened. Everybody moved. We got runners, a runner here, and then we got some runners advancing. Lucked out on the spawns. Uh, right here, um, we got a manhole card, so nothing happened here. Only uh, We're still in the yellow, and only got one right there, and then uh, one walker there. So that turned out all right. So don't have to worry about this one until we pick up that uh, uh, purple X. So off to round 10. El <laughs>
review here. Round 10. We now got, uh, we're surrounded here. Donna, Josh are surrounded with uh, quite a few uh, runners and walkers in here. So Donna, I'm okay with. I know she's down to one wound, but with those uh, dual hatchets, two dice, a two plus with that uh, blue skill she's got. Uh, so she's, she's going to do all right. She's just not going to get as many. Josh has the chainsaw, but starting us off is going to, uh, is going to be Donna on the next uh, round here. And so, and then she's going to get help here. Hopefully they roll r all right. So that's cool. So anyways, uh, you know, you probably noticed in there, I just was not going to do much in there. I just stepped the guys in there to search for stuff and not too much on the search. Uh, I mean, we ended up with pretty much nothing really good except a shotgun. Uh, Leah ended up with a shotgun there. So I ditched the katana she had and, um, I may give that to someone or she may use it. She's got those dual claw hammers and it's hard for me to switch those out. I love those dual claw hammers. Um, yeah, pretty much not, not much else was going on. Just did a little fighting in here and uh, El Cholo finally broke the yellow. So he's got four actions. It looks like every, yeah, everybody has four actions now. We're all in the yellow. So good to go. Uh, did the movements there. Bill's getting, little Bill's getting closer. Uh, only lucked out again on the spawns. Uh, just one here in the yellow. Uh, three there in the yellow. And then just one, uh, two in the yellow over there. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So we are now off to round 11. <laughs> Pretty much the whole time here we were just trying to lighten the load up and get everybody set up uh, with Leah with a concrete saw and um, uh, we just drawed a uh, oh who, someone just drawed a Molotov who the heck was it oh Belle drawed a Molotov and I brought her back over here so we're all teaming up here so if you watch the quick the lightning round whatever I do you know if I fast play it uh, you'll see what happened here and how we end up here. I had Josh take a dip, dip in here since he had a chainsaw because he has slippery. So I used, I took a chance with uh, his third action to come in here and roll for the chainsaw and he whiffs it. Not one five at all. So I had to back him out here. So uh, that's the advantage of having a slippery. You could do some stuff like that as long as you know you got an extra action there. So anyways, but that didn't work out too well. Now little Bill's here with him with the others, but I'm not too concerned. I got this worked out here. So we'll spawn wise, just two regular runners here, one regular runner there and one regular runner there. And that was it. So, alrighty, we are starting round 12 with Bill.
we fought off all this here, killed a little bill with a concrete saw, or whatever, and that was great for a little bit. And um, oh, and that runner's in here with them now. And got uh, Josh and uh, and Bell in here, so we got three here. I go ahead and uh, open up the purple with uh, Cholo. And I was, I, I actually spawned always out here and I forgot, oh, these are the white cells, we are, those are already done. So I raced all those off and kept, you know, was here and over there. And of course, the first card I decided, I start, decided to start over here was, it turns out to be an abomination, little Bill shows up again. And then so forth here. Oh, it was a, there was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And we are now officially in the orange um, with Leah hitting the orange after killing little Bill the first time. And um, then Bell hit the orange too. So now we're going to be spawning zombies in the orange. And it's going to be a mess. I have that Molotov. I'm holding that Molotov for when it's a big old horde. Which we might see one coming up here pretty soon. At least this is all done with. Um, oh, I forgot to spawn the purple. Oh my gosh. Uh, here we go. We'll spawn the purple right now and we're in the orange. I'll put uh, three berserker walkers right here <laughs> Okay, you'll see those when I switch over to uh, fast play Alrighty, um, so that is it. We are now on round What? 13 I believe Yeah, round 13 and I believe it's Leah. Yeah, Leah starts us off so Okay Here we go <laughs> Wow, uh, here we go again with little Bill. Um, if you watch Fast Play, you would notice he moved up here in the zombie phase and all that. Uh, we got a mess right here. All those zombies off here are supposed to be in this little square here too. And then we got four in here and then, so uh, this is a mess right here. So anyways, I'll get back over here. And um, these guys moved down here. Uh, we got Cholo coming up here. We uh, spawned two runners there, two runners there. There was a, uh, what was it, four right here, four berserkers or three berserkers, somewhere right, right there. And then uh, three uh, berserkers right here, or, yeah, three berserkers right here, sorry. So, and that's where we're at. Ah, and I forgot to spawn here again, so, dang it, that's the second time I forgot. And we end up in the orange, all walkers, one extra turn, holy crap. What we got, we got, okay, we just got runners here, so he's going to move in here, and these guys, <gasps> Alrighty, when um we're starting round uh 14 with Josh leads, and I'll have these guys all moved up here. Oh my gosh, no one's yeah no one's gonna get hurt here. So all right, round 14, Josh. To all humans, and the baby leads.
this run was brutal. Um, the reason why was towards the end. We got rid of Lil Bill. That was cool and all that. Leah, superhero, superstar. Um, just when you were watching it, the, all the zombies here were actually supposed to be on this space too. And so I had no room there. There's like 21 some zombies all right here. And, um, oh crap. They're actually all in here because it all Walker's move card right here. So they're all in there now. And, um, yeah, the four that were remaining in there, they took some bites and I divvied it up. And the status right now is Donna is down to one wound. Bell, Bell is down to one. Uh, she has, she's, she's got two wounds left. Leah has two wounds left. Josh has one wound left. And El Cholo has one wound left. We had an all runners uh, advance. And um, yeah, all runners advance on this one. So that's how these uh, two runners got in here from over here. And then we had uh, two uh, fatties, so they brought four friends along. So Donna's in there with two fatties and four friends. And then we draw the two runners here. And then the purple one was the killer one, man. All walkers, uh, uh, one extra turn. That's what brought this whole horde up here. So anyways, and actually I got to move these walkers in here too. Or no, they, they moved over. Yeah, they moved over here. So, okay, we're good. Uh, but these... Just remember, all these guys are in our square right here. So this is make or break here, man. Uh, we got them all top, but if we throw it in our zone, we all die. So that's kind of not going to happen. So uh, starting us off in this one is going to be El Cholo. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Well, we cleared that whole mess there. Oh my gosh. But we lost Donna. I took my chance to have her roll well with the that plus one to the die roll. But she rolled a one. She's supposed to get two or higher. But she rolled a one. Uh, and um, couldn't get the rest of them. And besides, she had the hatchet. And that can't kill fatties anyways. I was hoping um, we I'd have any some extra action there to bring someone in. But we didn't clear this in time. So I just sacrificed Donna right there. Sorry, Donna. Anyways, <laughs> um, so we cleared that whole bunch out there, but uh, we took some wounds again. Um, Leah is now down to one wound, and Josh has one wound left. Uh, everybody except everybody, well, and well, Donna's dead. Belle has two wounds still. She was able to use her nightstick on the all runners advance on here when they were over here and they jumped over there, so. Um, I had her use her nice stick to take one of the wounds away, and then that's what gave uh, Leah the other wound. Anyways, so we did the spawns and all that. Um, we had uh, we have uh, two runners spawn here, and then we got the all runners advance. That's how they end up over here. And then we got uh, six of those berserker walkers there, and three runners over here. Uh, I'm a little tired here, guys, because uh, that was a lot of rolling right there. So. We were trading we were trading the chainsaw there everybody i took us an action to do it but a lot of them had free actions they're all in the orange so they all got their orange levels el cholo has a plus one free combat action 
Um, well, Josh is still in the yellow. He hasn't got there yet. Um, Leah has a plus one free uh, melee action. And then uh, Bella has a plus... Uh, has a plus uh, one to the dice roll for range, but I couldn't use it. So, anyways, and then Donna, well, she ended up getting a Swordmaster skill, but too late, she's dead. That would have been pretty cool to have a Swordmaster skill for her. Um, that's where she could equip any uh, blades or whatever and have them as a dual wield option. And with that plus one to the die roll, that would have been pretty tough. So, alrighty, uh, we are now starting off with Belle. Donna's gone, so Belle's starting off the next round. And we'll see what happens there. So, um, I hope the fast play, I'm not sure if you can really keep up with the fast play, but it speeds up the videos here. Uh, that last fast play might be a little longer than normal because there was just a lot of dice roll there. So, all right, off to the next round. Uh, Bell starts us off. Okay, uh, Leah just hit 43. She hit the red, so she has an option of a plus one free move action, a uh, plus one to the dice roll in combat, and ambidextrous. Ambidextrous, I think, is uh, you could wield any kind of uh, weapons, uh, do wield any kind of weapons or something like that. I think, I can't remember. Don't want to look it up real quick because I'm not going to pick it because I'm picking the plus one to the dice roll combat. That's a real valuable skill there. So, for instance, I have the Claw Hammers dual wield. She'll have six dice and it's at five plus, but with this, it'll be six dice at four plus. So, that's the neat thing about that. Pretty cool, I think. So, alrighty, man. So, Leah is officially in the red, which means we're going to be spawning in red. So, back to attack. <laughs> pretty cool uh, we were very successful in removing the walkers here and over here boy I took a chance with the machete uh, he has that fr a free melee so he was over here and he has four actions so it was one action two action and then use a the melee with the machete and only had one dice to roll on the machete that's all he was equipped with and got it with a six on the first time and then his uh, third action missed so it came down to the last one he rolled a five so it cleared out those uh, two runners there so that was awesome so anyways, we had the zombie phase, so now he's in there with uh, three uh, berserker walkers. And uh, these guys moved over here, and then these runners have moved up here. Our goal is just to get out here to the exit. That's all we got to do is survive. Just get out to the exit here. Make sure there's nothing in this area, and we're done. We are really close to winning this game here. I'm pretty excited about this. I uh, only lost one survivor, so... And man, it's been a while since I uh, actually had a win in this uh, game, so... I'm looking forward to it. Try and play this as wise as possible and uh, see what happens. Um, starting us off in the next round is Leah, AKA Emma Stone. And uh, she, like I said, she is in the red and I picked the plus one to the die roll for combat, which means it could be melee or uh, range. So it's awesome. So with the claw hammers, that is devastating. She's dual wield, so six dice. And instead of hitting on five plus, she's gonna be hitting on four plus. So I love it. So anyways, and we still have a Molotov. Bell has a Molotov, so in case we have to use it, we're, we're just sitting pretty here. I may stop spawning over here because this is going to become irre irrelevant unless they're runners. I might put them over here because um, I don't see these walkers catching up to us. 
Of course, I might be wrong because, uh, you know, I'll keep spawning there because there might be an issue over here and they'll probably catch up to us. We'll see what happens. So anyways, it's just one, a way to save uh, so, save some miniatures and some time. So, all righty, man, here we go. Uh, Leah starts. <laughs> Looking good, looking good so far. Um, as you can tell, we all came in here and uh, we cleared out this little horde here just fine. Um, I had, uh, I just for the heck of it, had uh, Belle go in here and search just to see if we landed a Molotov. Didn't happen. Uh, she didn't get, end up with a Wakasachi, but she doesn't have a Katana. So, anyways, probably discard that. Then had her come back out here and be with uh, uh, El Cholo. So they got the front and they got the back here. So I was going to get ready for the spawns here. Zombie phase happened. Uh, runners obviously moved up here, moved, moved, and then we did the spawn. And we, it's kind of a good thing. Uh, we ended up getting all walkers advance, and we cleared all the fatties and walkers out of here. And the only walkers were that left were the ones over here, and they were over here. So that worked out well. That means there was no other spawns here. So it cleared, gave us a, uh, gave us some daylight here. We got, I got two runners. I'm concerned about right here. Um, and then we had tons of four berserker fatties here, which includes eight berserker walkers, which see, this is what I was talking about. I don't think these guys are going to come into play at all. And I was going to hold them off. Same here. You notice I didn't put the walkers out there as uh, four regular, uh, walk, uh, fatties. Then over here, of course, I have, uh, three berserker, uh, fatties, which equals six, uh, berserker walkers right here. So yeah, that's going to start building up right here. So we're close, man. We're close. So I think it's going to happen. Uh, starting us off will be Josh. As you can tell I left uh, Josh behind right here. <laughs> He'll be alright. He's got the chainsaw, and um, there was no other event runners advanced or whatever, so lucked out on that. Um, you also notice when I was doing the zombie phase, I kind of just bleh over here because there's supposed to be seven walkers there, and I'm like, no, screw it, they're not gonna do anything. And then I I just gone ahead and went with it, and all fatties uh uh get an extra action, so I moved in there in our zone here, and I moved those uh, fatties over here, and then those there. I may start using these for spawns over here. So at these two spawns here and see what happens. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, we've made our way up to here. I'm confident Josh will be okay. Starting us off in the next round is going to be El Cholo. Again, on this spawn was a manhole card. So nothing spawned here. And there's no manholes in this out in these alleyways. So that worked out really cool. Two for two on good, good uh, spawns there. So uh, no spawns there actually. So. Alrighty, but we did end up with seven more walkers here, and it's starting to get a little heavy here, but Bell has that Molotov. 
and um, I may use the Molotov very soon here just to ease up the the pathway here. So, all right, again, um, it's going to be El Cholo starting us off. Belle is in red. She has officially gone in red. Um, she could pick a plus one die to combat, uh, plus one free move action, or ambidextrous. I am going to have her do. Let's do. Oh, uh, let's do plus one to the no the free move act. No, no, no. Yeah, do the free move action. That might help out here to help Josh out. Let's see what happens. No, no. Let's do plus one one die to combat. Plus one die to combat. All right, and back to Bell cracking some skulls. I think this is gonna be a W here, guys. Um, I was able to get Joshua to knock those guys, uh, the two runners out, and advance up here with us. And I gone ahead and had her clear it out there. We're not even gonna need the Molotov um, since she's got the six dice and hitting the four plus with those claw hammers. I think we're gonna be just fine. Uh, spawn two fatties there, which, which comes with four walkers. I you notice I uh, tried to I gone ahead and kept spawning here, but I wasn't putting anything down. This this is irrelevant now. Nothing. I'm gonna start picking. I was starting to think about picking some of these guys to move them over here to speed it up. So and there were seven uh, seven uh, uh, berserker walkers here, which are gonna be they're not gonna be in play at all. So starting us off is gonna be Bell right here, and I'm just gonna have her go in there and go to town too. So and uh, if I could play this right, so I can see if I could have have an extra action that could get out immediately on this round. So. Let's see how it goes. Okie dokie, as you can see, uh, El Cholo and Josh are exit, they are done, they cannot come back in. The reason why I left Leah here is because Belle had to use all four of her actions to clear pretty much all of them out. And Leah only had to roll one time to get the other one out. So I left her behind just for this reason, this spawn here. So, and Leah will start us off on this round. So there's a good chance that she's going to clear this out and have an, and then have an action to get out of here. So pretty much, you're going to watch the game end right here. I didn't spawn over at those other places there. There was an all walkers advanced one, but they, those weren't even out here when that happened. So psh, I kind of like, nah. So, all right, here we go, man. Game over, man. It's game over. They have successfully exited this building completed the mission i got a very rare w in zombicide prison outbreak mission number five easy mission which yeah I, I don't know if it was too easy but yeah it was all right of course i used five survivors donna did you know i had donna out here and of course she was a she died 
And um, I wonder what it'd been like if I used my typical force of virus I use. But anyways, I'm happy with it. I'm glad we ended up with that concrete saw there when we needed it over there. Um, never did use that Molotov. So very happy, man. So El Cholo, Josh, Leah, and Bell worked out great. Great team right there. Great team. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, leave any comments or advice down below. Let me know what you guys think of Zomicide. If you haven't played it, I strongly suggest you to play it. Any of those boxes out there, you could. it's a good starting point. Um, you could still get first edition fairly cheap. And uh, Prison Outbreak's running around $70 to $80. And then there's Rue Morgue. Rue Morgue is the, is the third edition, or third season, I guess say, third season. And that one's a little tough to find. Um, that is up next after I get through these missions. I will do Rue Morgue, and it's got a little bit more to it than uh, the other two seasons here. So, anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, any questions, comments uh, down below. And um, yeah, look forward to seeing mission number six. Yeah, we're going to go on to mission number six here. So cruising right along. You guys take care and uh, keep gaming out there, dude. Bye.